I'm happy to introduce to you Peter Ford with the latest on Showbiz. Thank you, Bert. Thank you. Good to be here. Good to have you here. Have you filled in your Logie coupon? Not as you. I've never filled one in in my life. Truly? Never. Well, this is your last chance because the Logie coupon in the current TV week is the last opportunity you'll get to vote for the Logies, which are being held on March the 13th, Friday the 13th. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That's been done before, though. And Steve Weizard's doing it, hosting right. it. And that was uh, broken the other week by the hotel involved, the Radisson President Hotel, fine hotel, and they're uh, the venue for this year's awards. And they put out their press release saying that uh, Visard is the host, which preempted both Seven and TV Week. But, you know, it's very fashionable for a lot of people in the business, I'm sure you'll agree, in the last couple of years to knock the Logies. And they sort of say, well, they're nothing but a popularity poll. And I guess that is exactly what they are. But what's wrong with that? I mean, mm. that is the bottom line in sure. the business. And I think they are a terrific thing to create an excitement about the industry. And as long as you keep in perspective of what they are and why they exist, I mean, basically the Logies are a marketing exercise for TV Week. But there's no shame in that and there's no, no hiding that fact. So uh, if you take it for what they are, I think they're darn good fun. Yeah, and also, so I think the important thing to remember with the, the Logies, it's always a big rater for the, the television network that, that has it on. And also, too, it's a, I mean, it's a very popular television program. Yes. Uh, people enjoy it every year, and as I say, the ratings are always very high. The interesting thing, I think, about, uh, about the Logies, my experience with the Logies in comparing them, the people within the industry who are always very, very critical of bringing in overseas artists were always the ones I noticed late at night getting their autographs. <laughs> and also, the people who would knock the, the voting coup on system with TV Week, when they eventually, the protagonists, when they eventually won a Logie, they were quite effusive on stage about how grateful they were to receive one. Yes, exactly. Well, a lot of people thought that Visard hosting it was a, a fait accompli, but um, I think perhaps up until around just before Christmas, somebody else was uh, booked to host the Logies this year. But uh, I can tell you that's true. <laughs> oh, well, that's now changed, of course. I think Visard will do a good He'll job. He'll do a terrific job. There was a feeling that maybe he would treat it not with the respect that people believe they deserve. Talking about Visard and respect, you wouldn't have seen it, but, but uh, he had Gerald Stone on the other night, mm -hmm. and I thought it was just disgraceful. I mean, Gerald Stone is now the head of current affairs for the Seven Network, and real life, of course, is his baby, yeah. and they have really gone overboard in promoting Gerald Stone as being the mastermind behind the show, which I think is an unusual sort of way to publicise a current affairs show. Anyway, he was on Visard's program, and I thought it was dreadful the way he was belittled and humiliated on national television. In what way, Peter? I didn't well, see it. Well, you'd have to see it to appreciate it. Now, I guess if you accept an invitation to go on Visard's program, you know Visard's style and you know the way he sort of interviews people at the same time as sending them up. Mm -hmm. But I sat there and my jaw just dropped. I could not believe that a man like Visard, who's being paid millions by the Seven Network, would treat his employer with such disrespect. And how did Gerald Stone handle it? Uh, he was very calm and collected. Um, obviously, he was hoping there to hype up interest in real life. But they then called Hinch at the Siebel townhouse and got him on the air, who then all pr also proceeded to basically trash the network mm -hmm. and say the show was very boring. Right. And I just don't understand, A, why Visard would want to do it, and B, why he's allowed to get away with it. I just find that extraordinary. Obviously, he has carte blanche with the, the network. Well, I guess his whole style is being cheeky and defiant, but there just comes a point where I think ultimately you have to show the person who is employing you a certain amount of respect. Yeah. OK, what else is happening? Ian Leslie is set to rejoin 60 Minutes. Mm -hmm. He, of course, is one of the original reporters on that program and left the show. And unlike Yana and Negus and Mr Martin, uh, I think... Uh, Ian's had some difficulty in finding a little niche for himself. He's also had a, a, a dreadful run of bad luck, hasn't he? I feel he very has. sorry for him. He lost his mum, he's had illness himself, yeah. and everything has just fallen apart, it, it seemingly, over the last couple of years. That's good news, I reckon. It's good news. Not, not official as yet, but he had lunch last week with the executive producer, and the phone calls have been going thick and fast. Jason Donovan's back in Australia. He's flew in for a 10-day visit. Mm -hmm. He, of course, is wowing them on the West End. He's going back to that show after he's been here. He's here to uh, check on his house and see family and friends. Right. Denise Drysdale has secretly recorded a pilot for a new sitcom for Nine. Mm -hmm. Now, she's been working on this for the last two years since she very suddenly disappeared from Hey Hey at Saturday. And incidentally, um, uh, Daryl Summer's dressing room has been extended in recent weeks. Right. In what so way? It's, it's huge. Well, they've knocked down the one next door. <laughs> and... Uh, I think able to play football there. I think so. I think Glenn Ridge is sharing with Colette Mann now or something. But uh, anyway, 
Denise's pilot's been done. It's called Body Beautiful. She's in it with um, Tanya Lacey, yep. Hazel Phillips and Nolene Brown, and they're waiting for the green light. OK, well, good luck to them all. And thanks to you, Peter, for all the latest information on Australian showbiz. Thanks.